the most sensational thing you've ever seen. Antoine. Good God. That rather pale one, my dear, playing the piano, is having a raving affair with Mrs. Arnold Rickheimer. He conked her on the nut with a bottle of milk only the other morning. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you again. It's been a long time. I know, Charles. There you are, the lonely old artist man, hidden away from us in your Parisian garret. But Charles, look. Do you see that bovine spectre that I see? Animals in the zoo, Malcaster, to be goggled at. They are artists, my dear. The very great artists to be revered. Charles! Thank God there's somebody here I know. The girl brought me, but I've lost her. Looked everywhere. She's given you the slip, my dear. And do you know why? Because you look ridiculously out of place, Malcaster. This isn't your kind of party at all. You oughtn't to be here. You ought to go away, you know, to the to the old hundredth or some lugubrious dance in Belgrave Square. I've just come from that. It's too early for the old house. Yeah, I think I'll stick around a bit. Things may jolly up. You know? I, I spit on them. <laughs> Let me talk to you, Charles. White pugilists. It's such a surprise seeing you here, isn't it? I thought you'd still be wandering in the Middle East. Excuse us, don't you? I seem to remember seeing a rather gruesome photograph of you and Sebastian in Constantinople. Aha, uh -huh. Sebastian. And inevitably, we we'll talk of Sebastian. Someone's been sick, too, Tom. Oh, by the way, to be perfectly safe, I want a drink. There's plenty of drinks as well. No, I haven't heard anything of Sebastian for over a year. Do you see him? Oh, my dear, he's such a sot. You know, he came to live with me in Marseille last year when you threw him over. And really, it was as much as I could stand. Sip, 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 like a dowager all day long. And so sly. I was always missing little things, my dear. Things I rather liked, including two of very pretty suits. Of course, I didn't know it was Sebastian at first. There were some rather queer fish, my dear, in and out of my little apartment. But who knows be better than you, my taste for queer fish. But well, eventually, I found out that Sebastian had been p p p popping them at the pawn shop. And then, my dear, that he had sold the tickets at the bistro. Never much of a success when Sebastian stays with you, is it, Anthony? No, Charles. I know that puritanical, disapproving look in your eye. You think I lead the poor boy on, don't you? You did in Athens, by all accounts. Hmm. And that's one of Sebastian's less lovable qualities. He always g gives the impression of being led on, like a little horse at a circus. So there's still no stopping him? My dear, I did it everything I could. I said to him again and again, why drink? If you want to be intoxicated, there are so many much more the delicious things to do. Never seen you before. Never asked you. Who are all these white trash, anyway? Seems to me I must have come to the wrong house. It's a time of national emergency, my dear. Anything may happen. I think Africa must be deserted. Never mind. You and I, Charles had a good innings today, defending the old country. <laughs> That's the great pity of it, you know. You and I are too young to fight in the war. Other chaps fought. Millions of them dead. Not us. We showed them today, though. We showed those dead chaps we can fight, too. And you came all the way from Paris. Damn good. Damn good. Came from overseas. 
rallying around the country in her hour of need. Like the Australians. Like the poor dead Australians. Is the party going well? Do you think Florence Mills would sing again? I know you. We've met before. Often, my dear. But you'll never ask me tonight. Perhaps I don't ask you. I thought I liked everyone. Do you think it might be witty to give the fire alarm? Oh, yes, boy. Do run away and ring it. Share things up. Exactly. So then we left Marseille and we went to Tangier. And there, my dear, Sebastian took up with his new friend. Who's that? Well, how can I describe him? He's, he's like a footman in warning shadows, a great clod of a German who'd been in the foreign legion. He got out by shooting off his big, big tail, but still he hadn't healed. Where did they meet? Yes, Sir Sebastian found him starving, touting for one of the houses in the Kasbah, and brought him back to stay with us. It was too macabre. So, back I came to dear old England, my dear. <laughs> So where's Sebastian now? I think he and his lame chum went off to French Morocco. They were in trouble with the Tangier police when I left. Oh. A lady Marshmallow has been a positive pest ever since I got back to London, trying to make me get in touch with them. What a time that poor woman's going through. Oh. It only shows there's some justice in life. seems to have forgotten you now. Come on, Charles. I've had enough of all this. 